welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, we're going to get back on this 55 horsepower commercial, 1988. And then we'll see if I can uh, get on that motor mount on that little cutie, five and one half Johnson. But uh, yeah, all my parts came in. I got a new head gasket, thermostat cover gasket. Oh yeah. We got all the pots. You can see there. And I cleaned up the heads really good. Same with the T-stat. And there's my thermostat with its new gasket or rubber seal there my grommet for the poppet the spring okay now something that's important you can't see it real good but you, you probably be able to see it this you see right here there's a curve on one side of this poppet and one side's a little longer than the other well, this curve right here has to go toward the rubber grommet in there. That's what gives it its seal with the, as the spring's pushing up against it. That curvature up against the rubber grommet via the pressure of the spring. So make sure you put that curve shape right there. Right there, it curves and curves. Make sure that goes toward the grommet. That's important. So when the grommet's... installed that curve right there will go that way just like that and that's how that goes in there okay so now that the curves pointing toward the grommet put you over in here maybe lower get down it. So the curve's pointing toward the grommet. I have to put that in there first. If I can get it off. There it goes. So the grommet goes in, get in there, there we go, the curve part toward the grommet, there's my thermostat, now it's just a matter, I'm going to get some Av Permex and then I'll put the spring, it'll go there, like so, then the top will go on, so let me get a little Av Permex, see, That's what I'm going to do. Just did that wrong. Get out. Oh, I did it right. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay. There's my curve. Back in there. That's right. That'll go like so with the spring in there. Yes. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. I need to go get some new Permav tech. So which side goes on here? Something like that, I right? think. Looks about right to me. That would be correct. So let's paint it with the old perm abdicts. Dripping it everywhere. <laughs> All right.
All right, we can get her painted up. Boom, 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 boom. Much of that on that thermostat now. Put that up. Alrighty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inside there is a little place that holds a little nipple that holds that spring in place. Put this over that. Line everything up. Yep. The heck, I got a rock or something in my... <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that was. Piece of something. Once I get a couple of them started, then I'll take, whoops, not that I won't, then I'll take a little antiseize and paint on the rest of them. Paint them all up pretty. I'll get the ones that have the least amount of rust, because I have extra ones of these. Wait a minute, now some of them are looking a little long, that's too long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. This will be the last one, I do believe. Torque wrench set up to 230 inch pounds. The manual calls for 216 to 260. So I set it at 230. It shows that I start right here where the waist gets narrow and then just start spreading out further and further away from center. So that's what we're going to do. I already snugged them once, so now it's just a matter of torquing them until it clicks. stuff on there. Little on the ceramic, little on the tip. Little on the ceramic, little on the tip. You know, you know the drill. Got to have that. Now if I got the coils hooked up correctly, which I don't know that I do. And this wire back into this under there and back into the little keeper right there. Then we got to bring the water tube up and over and through the hole. You know what I could probably feed that right through there. Just making sure all my wires and everything are you know, in and out of the way. I think it's time to get this thing in the tank. Okay, you'll see what I see.
almost sounds like I'm hearing a sparking over here somewhere. spot I found on the whole engine I think is like 165. That's right at the cylinder in the center. Let's do the bottom. If I can get over there. This is right at the spark plug the whole bottom. 118 it shows there. Let me do the top. One thirty-eight. So I think she's running cool. She's peeing really well. So I think that'll take care of it. You got to remember this water in my tank is room temperature water. So you put that thing in a cold ocean and where the water temperature is 39, 40 degrees, it's going to run just fine, I think. So I'll be right back. Yummy. Those are silver salmon. Coho. And both of those were female salmon. Which means they were loaded with roe. Which I am currently turning into red caviar. Yummy. probably saying what's gonna happen with all them beautiful fillets I show you I show you right there's my smoker Yummy, yummy, beautiful, smoked coho, yummy.
cake. Slack jaw, not much to say. Name that too. With a slack jaw, not much to say. Name that too. There's the brokish one. The other one brokish. Might as well be. Can you see that there? It's it's almost delaminated. So we'll need to get two of these. was completely broke. This one might as well have been broke. Now these upper ones, they're, they're loose as can be, but they're not broke. So I'm just going to replace those two, I think. Let me go get them. I'll be right back. Okay. Went out and got them. What three mounts? Got two good ones, and they're all uh, I put anises, got them all cleaned up. Now we got to get that up under that washer. <laughs> Mm -hmm. with the 
I dry it out a little bit. But, uh, the 55 is ready to go to work. And, uh, the little Johnson ready to go to work. was that close. Now, so, we got the 55 with a new thermostat, a new poppet valve, um, grommet, thermostat, seal ring, thermostat, head cover gasket, new head gasket. I did not see any leaking anywhere. She seems to be cooling good. Low end about 118, high end 161. Um, that should be about right where one's at. Um, could I spend more time on it? And so forth, sure. But uh, where this one's going back to, it runs, it shifts, 
it cools. I'm praying for you. I really am. The other little guy, um, I noticed just putting in those lower motor mounts really tightened it up a lot. I mean, that thing was flopping all over. So we got that squared away. Um, we uh, got it to where it'll start, cleaned up the carburetor. It was all gummed up. And uh, did a save a thread Healy coil repair and did a, a save on that. I'm going to show you something real quick on this little motor. I'm going to roll it back over here because this is what causes this. I've seen this on a couple of these motors that have very similar designs. I'm going to show you what causes that. What causes people to strip out that bottom spark plug hole on this particular motor? Look at you in here. Is the angle because of this stupid latch switch. When you go in there, I have learned over the years on this model and ones very similar to it, you see that? You can't get straight in. So people will come in with all kinds of sorts of spark plug tools and this latch just messes them all up. And they'll come in and they'll cross thread it at an angle. And I, it's my belief that's what causes this because I've seen it on this, this model or other models. Another one that I see it on is the uh, my beloved 18s. And this latch, people get in a hurry out there, that latch is in their way. A socket even with just just a, a regular spark plug socket really can't get in there because of that latch. And you can't move that latch any lower. You can only, and so I've seen it on this, this particular type of cowling pan quite often. Um, so and I'll point that out to the owner when he picks it up and I say, hey brother, <laughs> don't be doing that. So, but yeah, I need to let this thing dry out. I'm going to re-glue that hood cowling gasket on there. But that, it's my belief that's what causes that on, on that particular motor is that just the way the pan is set up on that thing it interferes with a spark plug wrench and uh, or a spark plug tool in general that's of the socket style nature so on those particular types I use a wrench a, a box and wrench so we got these two ready to get back out there and get to work I was gonna bring the uh, other motor that the gentleman that owns the 55 commercial uh, in here. It's a 40 horsepower um, commercial model and uh, and I'm sure it's going to be in very similar condition to this one but um, bear season just kicked off here around well actually it hasn't even kicked off it does on the 25th but all the guides and everything are coming over here. My rack, it's dark outside right now so I can't show you, but I got holes all in my rack uh, where they picked up their motors and everything. And uh, But I had a fella that brought me a 30 Johnson, I believe it is. It's an older one, I think, you know, mid-80s. And uh, he had another one and then he called me last night and said, hey, is there any way you could, you know, kind of rush that Johnson? We swamped our, our other Motor. in the ocean and we're without a motor now and we're running into the hunt and the bear and the deer and the goats so can you you know and the deer and the bear and the goats so might bring that one in here tomorrow we'll see but uh that's going to be a wrap on these two i want to thank you guys for watching and that is without a doubt Another hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Now don't you forget to subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.